है हाय गाइस वेलकम टू द क्वांट लैब द क्वांट लैब में आपका स्वागत है इस वीडियो में हम कुछ डिफरेंट बात करने वाले हैं दिस वीडियो इज गोइंग टू बी अ लिटिल अबाउट हाउ टू गेट स्टार्टेड दिस अ कम्युनिटी व्हिच आई एम ट्राइंग टू बिल्ड यू कैन फाइंड द लिंक टू दैट इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन देयर इज अबाउट 80 पीपल देयर एंड देन आई आल्सो डू लिटिल टॉक्स व्हाट आई हैव रियलाइज्ड इज देयर इज अ वेरी लार्ज डिफरेंस बिटवीन two different kinds of people that i'm trying to address one is a community of traders and the other is tech people and while each of them can benefit from one another you know people who understand tech can really understand the concept of algorithmic trading from a system and technology perspective much more easily than traders and uh, while they do lack the financial know how of the markets and all that and the other side is the traders who generally don't have that sort of technical understanding so when i talk to tech people i hear conversations like oh, how do i understand jargons how do i punch in order types i don't know the complexity of the markets where do we get the data and all of that and when i talk to traders you know they are almost always saying hey, i have a strategy and i'm looking to automate it is there a coder available to hire there are some traders who are interested in learning it themselves because what they have realized is that even though they hire traders it becomes a fundamental problem for them to be able to understand what's being told so there's a need to understand technology so the question is this how do we bridge this and uh, i've spent a little bit time thinking about it and the only answer i could come is a little bit of education this is an area which specifically trading and the markets and i'm sure seasoned traders would agree people who have been doing this for decades that it needs time you will need to spend a lot of time in educating yourself irrespective of the side you're on if your goal is to purely making money then probably you can find smarter ways and i suggest that you look at you know more delivery based trades or swing trading in shorter time periods and all that don't go on chasing the fun or you know getting into the race for making algos and putting it out and that's something which i have realized uh, over the past few months the second part is when i said that you need to spend time i would suggest that you need to read a lot what you see over here most of these are finance books i think some of them are options some of them are technical analysis i also have a long list of these books i am not endorsing these books but what i'll try to talk about through these book is the types of things you need to know in no particular order now here's a book on algo trading this is from ernst p chand i got it with fontensty when i was doing a pat and this book is all about strategies so you definitely need to understand strategies but you know not just get a strategy you need to understand when does it a strategy work why is it working when it will it not work and these are some important aspects of strategy this books also talk about the algorithmic side of it which is you know the automation and nature of it and is a little mathematics heavy at least to me could be different to different people so it's important to know about it this is a book which i just found interesting about multi bagger stocks and what mr prasanjit paul is talking about here is you know how can you get good returns essentially his point is that you know there's three things that you need to realize and learn when to invest how long to stay and when to exit and it might sound like a you know really simple to sing to say but it's probably one of the most difficult things to do when you get into trading so it's i wouldn't say this is about psychology this is a lot about technique again not endorsing the book in any way but just trying to say how what different kind is a book on technical analysis and price action and i actually believe in this a lot the more i am inclined reading and learning about ai and all of that uh what i'm coming to realize is price action is really strong stuff uh could be my uh, lack of depth of understanding of other methods but i think price action really works 
and uh, you should gain a good understanding of price action this is another book called uh, from a very famous author i think saurav mukherjee copy can investing uh, talks about how to build portfolios of different nature and uh, there's a lot of different aspects that he also touches upon finally if you are somebody like me who's afraid of jargons i think a financial management core book and this is something i picked at the airport it's called romancing the balance sheet by anil lamba and uh, though this is not from a trading perspective it teaches a lot about finance and the aspects of a balance sheet and essentially if you understand it right uh you can keep on moving upwards from that place so so the intent of showing all of this is uh in order to gain a good understanding of it you'll need to spend a little time in teaching yourself these terms conditions to gain a holistic knowledge now is it necessary absolutely not some people do amazingly well by just scalping there's other ways probably people do great by swing trading i know some people who do really deep macro analysis when they uh, do trading so there's different areas and approaches that could work there's no one size fits all for this kind of stuff and hence it's important to be able to you know respect and appreciate different kind of stuff for example another topic which i'm trying to learn a lot these days is about risk and portfolio management how do you do that how do you understand it and while it's not directly translating to anything actionable from a trading perspective it's teaching me a lot as to how to be smarter with about my investments and i can see you know that the paths would converge so essentially the message is if you are into or if you are somebody who's trying to learn trading and get into i wouldn't say just trading let's say getting into stock markets and trying to understand the nuances around it and being able to manage your money better by investing trading doing all sorts of stuff you need to educate yourself a lot don't fall under the you know notion of buying or getting some sort of strategy and running it because as you see over time strategies tend to lose their charm so you could see that there's a strategy x which is giving good returns now but in a different market condition it just beats and loses money so if you are not educated enough to understand the different parameters on which you should assess the strategy you would probably just get it and will will be very happy for 3 months and when market goes sideways or there's a trend reversal or any of those parameters and things happening in the market you would then start to get made you know lose money so hence the long monologue about it so uh i felt this was a really important conversation to have and uh, we should or you should i i i i would really wanted to talk about it this might not be something teaching but is more uh, fundamental in nature all right so uh, if you have liked the video if you if you you know resonate with the idea that that i've talked or you do not please put that in comments if you have a recommendation for other people who are building it please do it please do join the whatsapp group we are trying to have active and engaging conversations around tech and trading uh, there's a lot of other dimensions that we touch upon personal journeys and stuff so that could be really good all right uh, that's our first signing off bye bye thank you guys